Welcome back to the Puppy Pen. We're here with the Springer Spaniels. They are now 10 days old on the day that we're filming in their, in their second week. What kind of a week have you had? Uh, we've had a good week. They're fine, they're thriving, uh, they're eating, no problem, no problems with mom. Mom will sometimes move them if she thinks one's too far from her. She puts them in, their, in her mouth and then carries them to where she wants. Um, which actually, if you've never seen a dog do that, you, you can get slightly, oh, what, what is she doing? But that's totally normal. She doesn't hurt them. You mentioned last week, just after they'd been born, that puppies had previous litters and they've been much bigger than this. I think she had eight puppies on one occasion. The fact that there are three of them, that's, is it, it's two boys and one girl, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Um, does that mean that they're going to grow faster? Because presumably there's a lot more milk for them because they're not competing with, any of, with many other puppies. Yeah, well this is the thing, they're not, um, normally when you have a big litter, so when she had eight last time, there was one that was very small and then another one that was smaller than the rest. So for those two you have to make sure that they're getting the milk. Um, with this litter it's three exactly the same size which is unusual um, so there's no competing with milk so that's good and they're growing rapidly I would say these three are stronger at this age than any of the other litters I had because they're getting more because milk, they're getting more milk yeah yes. simple as that um, the only thing you have to watch with mom is um, she could run the risk of mastitis because she's obviously producing a lot of milk um, more than three puppies will need but with any luck nature sorts itself out and um, she'll stop producing so much. You kind of produce what's needed, I think. Um, previous litters I have supplemented feed. I have, when I put them onto mush, the puppy food. Um, that, that's not coming quite that's not yet. Com though, no, no, it? that's, that's uh, about week three, four. Oh, not, not that long. Well, not that long. Yeah. Yeah, about four weeks, I think. Again, I depend. for me, I just decide myself when I think they're ready and when mom's getting slightly fed up of feeding them. But I would mix that with something called Welpy, which is like a powdered milk, like you'd use almost for a human baby. Um, but I don't think I'll bother with this litter. And what about, so what about mum's nutrition? Because I mean, she's obviously, uh, the pups are doing very well, they're growing very fast, mm. but she's providing all of their nourishment, isn't she? Yeah. Did, does she have a, a different diet or extra uh, vitamins or anything to kind of help her along? Yes, she is still being fed on puppy food. Um, I do that for her in particular, this, this bitch, because she does lose a lot of weight. She's really maintained this time, so I'm not so worried about her. She could now be on normal food, but I'm happier feeding her puppy food just because I know it's so nutrient dense and, and everything she needs. Is it too early to be spotting any characters or any sort of individuality uh, between them, or is, that, is it just too early for that yet? Uh, it's just too early. I, I think. I would think in another four days their eyes will start to open. So their eyes, they don't automatically open. So we should open. see that in the next in the video. the next video you should see it. What I look for now is I, I'm picking them up and I'm looking and you, their eyes just very gradually open over three or four days. So you just start to see a little bit of their eyes. And the eyes and the ears tend to open at the same time. Once that happens, then they start developing a personality. Presumably yeah. that's when they become very aware of where of they where are. Of where they are, yeah. That's when they know where they're that's at. That's when your fun starts. Yeah, that's when, I, that's when the whelping box comes out. <laughs> and then we put the puppy playpen up. We might be at the playpen next time you come. Um, because now, where they're, they're in the whelping box, which has the vet bedding on the bottom. But once they start to walk, it's important that they're learning to walk on the hard ground. So they need to get their poles going. But so all we'll that's get to rid come. Of it all. Yeah, it's all that's come. <laughs> so we think in the next week uh, their eyes and ears should open. That's, yeah. that's the thing we'll be looking for in the next video. That's the next one, yeah. And then once that happens, then it's rapid. So we've had, you get about two weeks of easy, nothing, they eat, mom the cleans up. The long before the storm, is that Yeah, what you call that, it? that is, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we're lucky, you know, at this point, mom's still cleaning them up. So when mom stops cleaning them, then it becomes really fun. Uh, round she's, the clock. Yeah. Well, she's obviously eating, she eats their poo. She uh, licks them to stimulate them to poo. Um, the wee and all that, she cleans up. But not quite as bad as it would have been with eight of them. No. 
<laughs> eight was, yeah, eight was uh, trouble. Yeah, right. eight was difficult. Well, thank you very much. We look forward to coming back uh, to film again in a week's time, that video. Um, and in fact, if you want to know when that video goes live, um, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. That means you'll get a notification of when that uh, video goes live and you can see the, uh, the pups for yourselves. For now, for this week, Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you.